hello this is Frida welcome to my channel for today's tutorial I am going to show you how to crochet these lovely teething rings for babies <laughs> and I think they're pretty uh, cute I saw a couple of tutorials and uh, I thought this was unique so I wanted to share it uh, well I actually I figured out myself um, there's another tutorial, but it's done in one piece. This is done in two piece, and I like the way the color has been changed, and it uh, gives you that uh, rabbit ear uh, look, so I just had to share it with you. I figured it out, and I used the yarn that I have in my stash. I didn't go out and buy. So these are 100% uh, uh, cotton, and this one is, I believe, 88% or 82% cotton so I would highly recommend for you to use cotton yarn and then you need rings like this I bought these from Amazon and I did sanitize them I boiled them I put a little bit of vinegar just in case so they are sanitized and uh, yeah so let's get started on how to crochet these ears what you need is um, it doesn't have to be white, but it can be like I for that one I did pink. It can be gray. You can change the colors around, or you can even do one piece of color, which I'm going to do today with you, and then uh, I will change the color. So the yarn that I have bought, I did do this on tutorial. I bought these from uh, Dollarama. Like these were four Canadian four dollars that I bought from Dollarama. So just want to show you, and I thought that this was a great deal. There's about um, 10 gram of yarn in here, thread in here, 40 meter, 43.7 yard, and it's 100% cotton. I would highly recommend for you to use 100% cotton due to uh, babies, you know, they're going to put it in their mouth and it's going to get wet and cotton can be dried faster. And you can, uh, these are removable, so I will show you how to, uh, you can sanitize and put them in the washer. I wish I knew this 25 years ago when I had my baby, because <laughs> he was only three and a half months old when he started teething, and, and oh my goodness, it was a, it was, it was really hard. And uh, you can put these in the freezer and have it freeze. Well, the fabric, I will show you. And then you can put it on the ring and get, give it to your baby. And uh, the baby will enjoy it. So on this one, I am going to be using the yarn from my stash, as I said. And I'm going to be using um, a 3 millimeter crochet hook. If you have smaller, you can crochet it. Uh, for those, I tried it with a 3.5, so I'm going down. I want it to have it smaller. So what you do is you need to um, chain total of uh, 12 chain. So we're going to be doing this part. So it would be this part of the ear. First, that's how we're going to start. And on this one, I did it with white, but on this one, I want to do it with blue so you won't get, you will see it better. So I will just move these ears. I thought these were cute. There are other uh, teething uh, that out there, but I thought this is really cute. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm doing two ply because it is pretty thin. Okay. Uh, I hope you're not getting distracted. Let me just move this a little bit. For some reason, the camera focuses on some part so 
so I need to move it as well I don't want the camera to focus on the ear so what I'm going to do is not the first but on the second I am going to do a single crochet okay and on the second stitch I am going to do a half double crochet so pull it at once so on the third just to give this height to show you so we're, we're going up and then we're going to go down okay and then we did our half now we're going to do our double on the next uh, chain we're going to do a double crochet okay three and then on the next one okay you're gonna do I don't know what this stitch is called it's not trouble it's not triple but um, this is how I learned when I when I was a kid and I, I really don't know what this is, stitch is called but you pull it at three times so what you do is you pull one yarn over and you pull the two and then you pull the remaining now we're going to do a treble crochet okay on the next so every stitch we do a different stitch so we pull two we pull two and we pull two as you can see it's going up now we're going to repeat we're going to do our second treble crochet on the next chain and then we're going to do the third treble crochet two two so we're going to do what we did here so now we're going to go down so we're going to pull by three so one two three three <laughs> if you have a thicker yarn you're welcome to use it. i just want to use up these yarn because I, I i went crazy at dollar when i saw these okay now we're gonna do double crochet we're gonna do half double crochet and then we're gonna do a single crochet on this last chain okay it's gonna be tight because i did pull it a bit so single crochet just like this we're gonna chain one oops sorry so now we're I'm holding it this way now I'm gonna repeat what we did here to give this uh, lip look <gasps> looks like a lip if you're doing origami or animal dolls you can do it with red color and then make it put a lip on it so this would be a lip <laughs> another uh, idea from me okay so what we were doing okay so i chained one so i'm gonna go on here and i'm gonna make a single crochet yarn over on this next i'm going to do a half double crochet i'm gonna weave this while i'm doing it and uh, on the next one i'm going to do a double crochet so one two this way i weave it and on the next one i'm going to pull it it's just where you see these uh lines here that's how, where you go in nothing fancy about it so pull one pull two pull three okay on the next one my yarn split well it's not split it's the end of this you can trim it or you can continue so i'm gonna do three one after another so pull one pull two pull three two And then three. Okay. Pull one, pull two, pull three, 
circle three. Okay, the next one is a double crochet. The next one is a half double crochet. And then the last one, I know it's hard to see. So this last one, just grab it and then it's a single crochet. Okay, so this is how we do it. And then we continue going around. Just like this. Oh. It twice on the same that's what it looks like you have to go to the next one and then you continue doing single crochet three rows just like this so I want to show you on this white one okay let me just grab so I will work on with this purple I don't know where I got this yarn it was only one ball and it's really good quality it's shiny and it's like amazing so i think i have another enough yarn to make another one so i just secured it i didn't want to lose the so this is what i did okay and i'm just going to continue crocheting just wanted to show you on a different color you can continue with the one color if you want okay but I think uh, you can see it way better on this one okay so I'm just gonna continue crocheting like I was doing previously single crochets and I'm weaving as I'm going this is the best way to do weaving. You don't have to uh, worry about <laughs> weaving your ends. Okay, so. So I'm right here where the three treble crochets here. So one, two, three, between these two, we're going to double uh, single crochet. So on the same spot, we're going to do two. Two double crochet, uh, two uh, single crochets. And then on the next one, I'm just going repeat, to repeat it. So one, two. So as you can see, it's going to get a little bit pointy, just to show it on here. it gives you this nice ear thingy here <laughs> it gets wider here so two on those uh, top just the, on those uh, treble crochets that's all we do okay so I'm going to continue crocheting then continue weaving it up as I go so this is going to be the top pointy point pointy Then we go to the next, and then we go around. Okay, so we're at the treble crochet, so on the top we do double two single crochets and on the next stitch we do two single crochets okay and then 
we are almost finished the first round. Okay, so I'm going to let you crochet on each single crochet. When you come up here, I'm going to show you a trick. Be right back. I forgot to mention when we're doing those double uh, single crochets, we just do single crochets on each one, so we're not doing double anymore. It was just that first row that we did uh, two uh, single crochets. Now we're just doing single crochets on each, all the way around, and I'm almost at the top, so uh, I will show you. Okay, so when you come here, as you can see, this was the pointy. So I do a single crochet on that pointy, and I chain one, and I do another single crochet. And that makes this pointy. That's all we do. And then you continue crocheting all the way around. And when you come back, you do the same thing. So I'm going to let you crochet the second row and uh, the third row, because the second row is finishing here. And then another row, this is all you do. But when you come here, you just do single crochet, one chain, single crochet on that pointy. So that's the top of the ear. Okay, and uh, after you finish the third row, I will come back to show you how to do the rest. Okay, so I have turned around, and uh, this is how it looks like so far. It will curl. You can leave it, because the bunny ears are like this, right? Or you can just pull it, stretch it a little bit. Just like this. So... I'm going to continue crochet and then just we need four stitches so try to have it in the middle two here and two on the other side so when you look at it in the middle you will have two single crochets here and two single crochets here so I chain one one two three or I look at it again just to see if it's in the middle and it looks like it's in the middle sometimes it will go this way if you if you don't have it equal so what we're going to do is we already crochet two rows so we're going to crochet total of 15 more so total of 17 rows and then when we come back I will show you how to uh, do the other part and you just continue crocheting like this all the way total of 17 rows and then you can count it just like this so this is the first row second row third row fourth row and then you continue I'll be back when I finish a total of 17 rows. Okay, so I have crocheted a total of 17 rows, and this is how it looks like so far. So what we need to do is we need to cut our yarn here and then weave it. <laughs> okay, just like this, and I'll just show you a way to weave it. It's easy, and then you don't have to worry about... Uh, anything so what I do is I just go between back and forth between the single crochets just like this and I go on the next one just like I don't want to cut it because this is pretty short right the baby is going to be sucking it, teething it biting it so I don't want the yarn to pop out so this two rows would be enough to secure it and then you can cut it from here so what you need to do is what we were going to do together or I'll, uh, I'll just go back and just make another one like this that we so we're gonna do another one and then attach it from here 
So I will go back if you want to rewind the video and then we'll go back and uh, see how we done it. Just just to repeat, nothing fancy, but I will come back here when we finish the third row. I will come back to join and show you how it's joined and I will show you how to put it on the ring. It's very easy and simple and it looks so cute. Don't you think so? I think it looks cute. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Their tiny little fingers are going to be biting this. <laughs> Chewing on it. Okay, so I will come back when I finish this middle part. Okay, so I finished the other ear. And then I'm just going to crochet. Just to pull it. So it has to be... Uh, two single crochets here, two single crochets here to find the middle. So uh, this looks like a little bit cricket. <laughs> so I'm gonna, can't even uh, see what I'm trying to say. If I do four, it's going to be this way. So I'm gonna do another single crochet and try to have that in the middle, just like this. I think this is better. So it, it, looks like we're having three so just use your judgment maybe yeah maybe the middle is here so when you go up <laughs> just that uh it has to be just use your judgment with your eyes <laughs> not counting so uh yeah okay so what i'm going to do is i'm holding it this way and then i'm going to be crocheting this so when you flip it, see, you see the right side and this is the right side. Okay. So to do that, I'm just going to turn this work like this. And then it's like um, when we're doing, a, when we're crocheting a hat, we, you know, we, we do the brim and then we join the two edges. Just like that. Either you can single crochet chain one or you don't have to. So what I do is I go between these two V's and then I just do a slip stitch. And then again I go between the two V's and then I do a slip stitch. I don't think uh, there's a pattern out there for this. I haven't searched it up. It's like something, sometimes it clicks in my head and I, when I search it up, oh, someone already made this. <laughs> it's so funny. So uh, I didn't go, I looked around, I couldn't see it. So I don't think there's a written pattern or I don't know. I don't think there's a tutorial. So this is how it looks like. And um, so I don't have a written pattern. It's very easy. When you're watching it, you can write your own pattern. I do still get the comments, can you send me a pattern? So then I try to explain. So this is how it looks like. So I'm going to cut this and weave it as, as I did on this. Uh, remember when I finished this uh, end? So I'm going to do the same. And then I'm just going to weave it. So you hold it like this after weaving everything because you can't weave it back and I'm watching a movie <laughs> on Netflix. <laughs> so that's how you crochet, right? You watch it and then you hold it like this, just like this. Uh, I believe I always forget because I did couple. I think it's uh, when you hold it on the wrong side, the wrong side. So, and then I put the ring just like this, and then between this ring here, I pull the ears. So this gives that nice look. <laughs> I just love it. Okay, and you pull it, and then the right side of the ring comes up. Oh, this... Uh, has this uh... isn't this cute you can pull it up a little bit if you want for your baby to 
bite this this area <laughs> yeah so i hope you like this tutorial i just had to share it with you guys and uh get your uh, feedback if you liked it or not bunny 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 i like the pink one too i'm gonna make a couple of different colors yeah uh i think this turned out smaller so I used a 3 millimeter crochet hook, so I'm going to go down to 2.75. Just to uh, use, uh, I haven't figured out, because I'm just trying to use up these yarn, and I'm trying to use a small crochet hook as I can, because I don't want, see, this looks way, see, it doesn't flip flop, but this does, because I used a 3.5 crochet hook. Just to point that out, so if you, use, well, this yarn was thicker, that's another thing. Yeah, I have to try it. The more you crochet and the more you bet you become better on this, right? <laughs> so I hope you like this tutorial. So, so far, I believe this is my own design. Well, this part, uh, I have seen it went back and forth. So I hope you like this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe, share it with your family and friends, and happy crocheting. <laughs>